What's up, guys? Your boy Hudson Chef. We're back with another episode of the Hudson Chef Show. Today, we're on the corner of 42nd and Park, and we're checking out Nyanos. Oh, look at that. It's like, no, no, no. Bless it. Why did you decide to open a restaurant and why here? Well, we decided to open a restaurant because como todos los latinos queremos venir a este país y emprender algo con sueños, a cumplir metas. Se dio la oportunidad con Michael, con el primo de él que es Alberto. Conversamos la idea, preparamos unos platos, los probamos y dijimos, vamos, empecemos, emprendamos y la vamos a pegar con fe. This is what they call choclo. It's like corn on steroids. It's not pumped full of sugar like the corn you're used to. It's a little more savory. As you can see, these kernels are massive. Go ahead. So this, they call alineo de la casa. Basically, it's like what? What is the Cubans mole? So they use this to base all their meats, to base the, the choclo. La comida ecuatoriana ha mejorado muchísimo, ha variado muchísimo. Incluso ahorita hay una fusión de, por ejemplo, un risotto que antes el risotto normalmente es italiano, right. tú lo escuchas en Europa, pero en Ecuador se hizo una fusión y hace un arroz risotto con bastante queso, con las lentejas, lo puedes hacer con choclo, entonces esa es una variedad. Apegado a nuestra cultura. Apegado a nosotros. Risotto is one of those dishes that's really hard to make. Risotto grain is round and it has a lot of starch built up inside of it. So as you stir it with a wooden spoon and you create pressure on the side of the pot, is that you're releasing that starch and that's what makes it creamy. I'm gonna eat risotto first because risotto can't sit. That's dope. It's cheesy, has lentejas in it. We got little lentils in there. That's fire. Tostones. I probably eat more tostones than any human being should. Yeah. It's crispy. It's crispy and mealy in the center. A good toston shouldn't just be crispy. It should be mealy in the center, right? Beans are rocking. As you can see, it only has the two bones in it. Makes it much easier to eat. That marinade that they got. When they put it on here, that's true barbecue. It tastes like barbecue. It tastes like when you go to the Rodizio joint and your food's being cooked over open flame. This is bang. They call this arroz marinero. Bro, I'm gonna tell you straight up, my Cuban ass thought it was a fried rice paella. Forget about being politically correct, but we're ripping right off. The shrimp cooks much better when it's in the shell and it retains a lot more moisture and a lot more of its natural flavor. The corn looks insane. so different than what we're used to corn in this country. This is almost like a meal. Definitely the most unique thing that I've eaten here. Shopping doesn't have this shit. Restaurant Depot don't have it. So he has a special purveyor that brings him this corn, just like he has a special purveyor that makes these ribs, which I need another bite of. Here's a bag. I don't know if this is Ecuadorian or not, and I really don't care. That is, that is a ch chocolate tren leche cake. Well, you had me at Tres Leche, and now we're talking chocolate, man. Look at that. It's an actual sponge. You see the pores in it, and it's actually soaked into it. It's not a pool. Okay, tengo una piscinita de leche. Eso no es Tres Leche, people. It's chocolate. I don't know who came up with this, but I love them. Even if you just come here for dessert, get this joint. You hear me? I get one in Ñaños, 41st in Park, doesn't disappoint. 